80s breakdancing zombie. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's day two. Oh, shut up, zombie. Nobody wants to know about you. Oh, no. Lost me age. It's been put off. And it won't die. Why won't it? Thank you. More painful is this. Oh god, there's flipping billions of them. And I've got 11 arrows. This can only end badly. Do I need some stones? If I only need stones, then we're okay. Oh, pick it up! More stones. God, I'm sorry. I'm lagging really, really badly since that weird power thing. <sighs> Possibly. We may have a little problem here. Let me make some arrows first. And I'll have a quick think about what we might want to. That's what they're after. It's the blinking deer again. Well, I'll tell you what, you go over after the deer, and I'm going to go over here. I'm going to read this book as well while I'm running. New recipe unlocked. Pistol. <sighs> Pistol. I've got my awesome bow and arrow that kills everything. Right, I think they are appropriately engaged with the deer for me not to have to worry too much for a little while. There's an awful lot of them though. I don't like that. <sighs> We've got a tool shop. Got some stuff I don't need. And we've got some growling. Always good. Less growling. No growling. <laughs> Stupid things. Okay. Is it you making all the noise? Nope. Nothing. Oh no, I think they're all done with the deer and they're coming after me now. No, I still don't want any antibiotics. I'm serious, I really, really need some. No. Have you? Have you got... Oh my god. I don't like these cheerleader ones too fast. Antibiotics? No. Of course not. Yes, I can hear them coming from behind me before you ask. I ain't gonna have time to check all these bodies. Nope. Nope. You look too stupid to have anything worth having on you. Plank. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that says it all. Another nurse here. Bandage? No. Bandage? No. Right. We have a plague of nurses. Nothing. Well, thanks for playing. Ugh. Right, zombies, can you leave me alone now? Because I've got some houses I want to break into. Oh, it's just taunting me now. Another nurse. Now it has a blood bag. Which is all well and good, but it's not what I need! Oh, good grief. Hey! 
80s breakdown scene zombie. Always good. Oh no, sugar. I just missed and I've only got two arrows left. Oh, no. What am I going to do with a pane of glass? Fucking oh, heck. Right, now I'm out of arrows. Can I make any? No. Do I just need stone? This is too many zombies for my liking. Right. Can I make some now? No. So what have I not got? Sticks. Feathers. It might be feathers. I think it's feathers. Okay. Bird's nests. Can you see any? I'll pick up some stone as I go along because I'm going to need that anyway. see any bird's nests? Oh. Ah. Feathers? No, of course not. No, it had to be eggs. Have a couple of panes of glass for your trouble. Oh, great. Garbage bag? Have you got some feathers? No, of course you haven't. Garbage bag? Have you got some feathers? No, of course you haven't. Bird's nest? Have you got some feathers? Yes, and I can't take them. We want some bullet casings. That's the best I can do. Right. Oh, no, I'm going to make the wrong thing here. Yeah? Oh, I've only got one stick. God almighty. <sighs> this is oh, this is just bad. Actually, this is bad. Right. I've got five arrows now, so you are now officially in trouble. But you're in more trouble. Okay. Put one into a brass doorknob. Why not? And you? No. There's too many flipping zombies for this. Too many zombies. Right, where's that plank? Make me some sticks. What's that? Some white. What the hell is that? I've got time to find out what the hell that is. What is it? Oh, it's the TV. Oh, we'll get rid of the TV. One arrow left. Both of you are quite slow. I just missed. Oh, I'm going to have another arrow left. I just missed again. That's not helping me, is it? Okay. Oh. Right, well, I'm glad we've all slowed down. That at least gives me a chance. This is really annoying me now because I just need to get into some houses and find some stuff. Yeah, rah to you two. Whatever. Let's get in here. Right, for Dresa, what you've got? Some water. Some coffee. That sounded very close. Nothing. And some scrap iron. Do you know what? This is rubbish. Usually by now I'd have pretty much everything I wanted, ever. And I've got nothing. It's it's rubbish. Oh, okay. Found a gun, though. Have a trophy and some animal fat in return. So I've got a book and a shirt. I'll tell you, I can have my oil, because I never know what to do about it. I never know what to do with it. Um... Do I want the shirt? Have a candlestick. 
Right, but none of this is helping me because this isn't actually what I need. This isn't actually what I need. I need some cooking equipment. I'm going to have to take that out because I hate those and they're annoying no end. And I'm going to have to check it because I'm sort of OCD about this sort of thing. There we go. Let's break down all these poker chips into something more useful. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent zombie, well done. Very, very well done. Right. Oven? Nope. Nothing. Refrigerator. Some more water. Not going to argue with that, but not what I'm after. Tin can? No. Oh, some food. Yeah, I can live with that. I need to put something in there instead to get rid of it. That can be in the can. You can't eat that before you ask. No, nothing in the sink. This is not helping! Some dumb bits, but can of peas. Oh man! Anyway, what was I saying about my can of peas? Can of peas? Squeezy cheesy peas, possibly. Get rid of my corn seeds for that, because I've never put some rat in this. Not gonna bother. Still not what I'm after. Right, got a couple of sheds. Got an air conditioning unit. Let's just have a quick look at that, because you never know. Might be something exciting in there. Yes, there is. Can I read this book as well? That would free up a slot. I so can. Now I can make a hunting rifle. But first I'm going to smash this door in. Is somebody saying, why are you smashing the door in? It's locked. God, I love doing this. Love it. Yeah, die door. Right. Gonna eat the peas. Mm. Peas. There we go. Right, now. Has this kitchen got anything useful? Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> Yeah, I've already been in here, haven't I? Okay, this kitchen hasn't got anything use useful. We've already established that. I'm losing track of where I've been now. I need a kitchen. I need a house with a kitchen in it. That's got stuff I can actually use. Have I got a kitchen? No. Smash it good. It's gone a bit quiet on the zombie front, hasn't it? I'm going to drink some water. That's a bit, bit better. I'll have another one. That's a lot better. Right. Oh, no, I can smash that door. Good. Okay. Now, listen, kitchen, you better have something good. Nothing. Oh, cooking pot. Hooray. That's a very, very good thing. Oh, more food. What's this? Oh, it's a can of stock. Okay, I can live with that. You can have some coffee beans for the can of stock. Then, oh, another can. Another can of something. Um, for the can, you can have some books. Yeah, there we go. Nothing. God, it's really mean, this game at the moment. Mean. Right, so finally, because I've got my cooking pot, I can make a campfire. And we can all sit round it and be very happy and joy. So, I need some stones. Oh, yes, I can hear it before you ask. Because I need to make myself another bow as well. So I'm just going to hack up some grass with this ask, a axe. Ask. Some, hack up some grass with this axe. That's easy for me to say. If you haven't got antibiotics, love, I ain't interested. No. I'll take your blood bag. I will take your blood bag. That's fair enough. But, right, now I've got to find the house. And because I didn't make a sleeping bag, I actually don't know where it is. That's a bit of a problem. <laughs> where is my home? I can't remember. I think it might be over here somewhere, but I don't actually know. And now I'm just too tired to think about it. Kind of, uh, kind of stock. 
go. No, seriously though, I actually don't know. Because what you're supposed to do is make a sleeping bag so that you can respawn. Um, but to do that I'm going to need a load of cotton. So I'll pick that. Because the problem is if you get into trouble and you respawn on or near your sleeping bag, <sighs> things are very wrong. Oh, I think that's a bookshop. That might have all the books in it. It might also have all the zombies in it though, so... To a little bit careful. Right, the things that are, you know, it's much more useful over here. <sighs> sort of sight. It is useful. Honest. Things are definitely a little bit more useful around here. Right, that's my home. I know this because that's the jumping zombie. <laughs> One day that'll get out and um, we'll have a problem. That day may me not, not be too far off, but. Okay, right. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to sigh as well. Just sigh. Right, I haven't collected enough cotton to make a sleeping bag. Or possibly I have. No, I lied, I have. Right, let's craft that into scrap lead. And then... Downstairs. So none of this is helping in the fact that I could die. But if I make a sleeping bag and I don't die in dreadful circumstances, I will respawn over here, or wherever I choose to put it. So that is what I'll do. Right, where is the sleeping bag? Not in home. Is it there anyway? Sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. No. No. I sort of assumed it would just be in home. Oh, it's there. I found it. There we go, nice sleeping bag with a little pillow. Good. Uh, oh no, I'm going to have to exchange that for something. Oh no, it's alright, I have got a spare slot. So what I'm going to do, I think, is put my sleeping bag here. So that I am vaguely protected from the zombies, should the zombies... I didn't want to put, let me put it there, there we go. You see, I'm in a sort of zombie protection area there. Probably won't protect me at all, but you know. Okay, speaking of protection, I also have an issue with them. Um, well, I haven't done anything to try and protect the home. Nothing. I haven't even built a door. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build the door. It frequently doesn't keep them out. They do have a habit of bashing in the door. But, you know, you got to try. What I'm gonna do then? Oh no, they've bashed in through all this as well. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I've got a beer, I think. Um, what I'm gonna have to do is block off all of that as well. Right, right. Let me go and get rid of some of this stuff first. Going up. Second floor. Right. Put the eggs away. Might eat that food. Save the beer for a special occasion. Put me grain alcohol there. Make anamiso there. Put my scrap lead with me other whoops. With me other scrap lead. And I go. Put my painting on the wall. Yeah. First I will eat my that looked like ravioli. A can of pasta. Oh. Apocalypse isn't so bad after all. I shall decorate my bedroom with this lovely painting. There we go. Wonderful. That's starting to look like home now. If your home looks like the apocalypse. Let's put these away. They're too important not to. There we go. Can I wear my shirt? Oh, it's changed my... It's changed my thing. But I can wear my shirt. So that's great. Hmm. That's a quick exit. So, where's my door? My door is there. Uh, oh, there we go. Door. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make the door better. Yeah, that's a much better door. Right. In here, we just have a gaping hole. So, no door is going to help. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make... 
I'm going to make some wood frames while I go out and chop a tree down. And look in this mailbox, which just has a load of paper in it, unsurprisingly. Right, tree. How can I possibly be missing the tree from that range? That's bad even for me. Crumbs. Right, now we're now in, sort of in the tree. Right, there we go. again. Right, go and pick some flowers then while I'm recovering. We can make the flowers. Now that we have got a cooking pot, we can make some tea. And then if I eat any dodgy food, which I inevitably will, it will cure me. Which is always nice. Which tree was it again? Is it this one? I can't remember. Oh, well, I'll, I'll just have to go with this one anyway. Tired again. I get tired very quickly. Right, I've made my frames though, I've made my frames, so what I'll also do while I'm standing about is make my campfire with all these stones that I've picked up. And then all sorts of exciting things will start to happen. Can I make some more arrows? I can make some more arrows. Yay! Gonna need more feathers again though. Usually we have no end of the blinking things. We've not been searching enough junk piles. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I'm down to my last axe. I'm sure I can hear footsteps. How many logs did I get? Five. I can definitely hear snarling. Perhaps it's just a zombie having a fight or something. They do that. So. Right, you can see I've got all the planks now. Let me just put my frames up. Lock. Whoops! Pick it up. Pick it up and put it in a slot I can use, please. Another one. Wood and frame. And then we're going to put it there. And, oops, then we're going to hit the wrong button. And then. Now, I'm going to reinforce these with the iron. got rid of the TV, so I, I can't turn the, the TV into iron. That's a shame. But never mind, it's fine. It's fine, it's okay. What if I can pick up the shopping cart? That would be good. Maybe I can. Maybe I can smash up the shopping cart. Or maybe we'll be here all night. There is also that possibility. I might come down and have a, another shot at that later. Right, in the meantime, I'm going to make some sticks. Not for my arrows, but for some wooden spikes. Because if there's one thing that zombies really hate, it's wooden spikes. Now, find them. Wood spikes. There we go. So you get three spikes per thing you dig. Whoops. And then we're going to craft some more. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill the whole room with spikes because I don't plan on coming back in here ever again. There we go. But you've got to be so careful. You've got to be so very, very careful about how you do this. Because otherwise, you end up spiking yourself. 
which gets really embarrassing. So you can jump up here, you see. <laughs> yeah, you can. It's not usually quite that bad. Now, I need to leave a gap because I want to get at that so that I can iron it. But you can see how this will be starting to come along. And then what I'll do is I'll close that door and block it up. So if they try and get in again, which they will, because they're little horrors, it won't be quite as easy for them. In the meantime, I'm going to need some more wood. I think I'm finding everything a little bit more tiring than normal because I'm infected, which is a mega, mega problem. then and some more stones lots of stones not enough feathers what if we can make stone arrows The sun is starting to set. Ooh, what I've not done is investigate the rest of my own home. <sighs> that zombie is going to have to die at some point. You do realise that. Stupid flicking thing. I just hate the noise. Got it. Right. In the medicine cabinet? <gasps> no. No antibiotics. What we can do, and this is a bit disgusting, but it's okay because we're going um, to boil it up so we can get water out of the toilet. Yeah, I know. It's tasteless. Well, it's not tasteless, that's the problem. <laughs> we could probably smash up that desk for some iron later. And here, we got nothing. We got a hat. We've got a safe, which is taking a long time to open so that you can't open things while zombies are chasing you, basically. Which has got some gun bits in it, which I'm not terribly interested in at the moment. A load more paper. And, uh, we could put a bed upstairs, that'd be good. I'd like my, I'd like plant, I'll take plant. And up we go. What we could do because I think I can jump to the lowest part, to the next bit up. Now, don't get me wrong, zombies can jump as well. But I think it might be in everybody's interests if I uh, bash that up. Can I jump to the second bit? I can try. Mm, no, well, that's annoying. I'll just collect the ladder then, again. I don't know where it thinks I want to put the ladder. Because <laughs> I'd really like to put it down where it came from. That would be great. Thank you. Okay. Shot the hatch. And put out down the campfire. Now, there used to be a time when campfires didn't really do anything other than cook. Now they burn horribly. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to put it there so that... I don't, well, so that I don't end up hurting myself. And I'm going to put Planty there, so we don't have to look at the stupid air conditioner thing. Hey Planty, what do you want to do today? Watch TV? Me too! So, we've got a cooking pot, so we're going to put it on the cookware slot, and suddenly we've got bottled water and goldenrod tea. So all of the water that we got out of the toilet is going to take 3 minutes and 40 seconds. So I'm going to burn this book and these 47 pieces of paper which gives me just over a minute and then I'm kind of tempted to burn the hat because I've already got a hat sorry hat so there we go so let's hit cook 
ready, steady, cook. And then I'll get that to put some planks on the fire. You can retrieve them, actually. It's not as if I could have fished them back off the fire, because I could. But there we go. So you can hear all the bits of paper <laughs> burning. Which is actually really annoying, isn't it? We'll come back to that in a moment. Get some extra planks there. So in my chest I shall put another blood bag, which is not antibiotics. Um, and I'm going to smash some stuff up. So I'm going to smash this trophy up. And I'm going to smash these cans up. Which gives me enough iron to repair my boxes downstairs. And I'm going to put my the grain alcohol into there and my lead into there. I don't know what chrysanthemum does so it's going into there. I genuinely don't know what it does. And then gum parts into there. I know this isn't very neat at the moment. And I'll put a splint into there. And I think I'll leave it at that for the time being. So if we come back here we have some nice bottles. Lovely. And out of that, I just need some eggs because then I can boil some eggs. Isn't it lovely just having a fire and a bed and a little plant? And the sound effects of the zombies. Maybe not that last bit. got a little while to go there. So, question is, is there anything else I could be getting along with? Um, have I got material for arrows? No, because I've run out of feathers. Perhaps I could make myself a nice box for all my food. That sounds like a plan. If I remember where it is. It's not in there. Storage health. Oh no, why can't I not do storage food? Oh, because I needed a tin can. Bother. Okay, well we'll do storage health then. That's okay. Because it makes it a lot easier to find things. Yeah. And also, if anybody else turns up in this game, I'll be able to say, there's the health crate. Because they will inevitably be needing it. Somebody. There. There we go. Brilliant. So I can take my bandages and my splints first aid kit and my blood bags and I can put them in here like so and also I'm going to put the grain alcohol in there because you can make first aid kits out of grain alcohol I believe I could be totally wrong about that but I think that's right so I'll put some water going to put some more planks on the fire so that I can start brewing some tea and uh, boiling up some eggs and they'll be able to eat and have a drink. So six of those, five of those, go. I know that doesn't add up incidentally, it's fine. Now what goldenrod tea does is it cures the sort of food poisony type thing. So if I wanted to eat this mouldy bread or this old sham sandwich, it would help with that, I think. Anyway, could be wrong. I'm going to eat them anyway, <laughs> before you ask. Because I always think it's a bit of a shame not to. So there we go. Now. There we go, right. Right, the sandwich. And I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I was okay. I'm going to eat the other one. This time, not okay. Oh dear. What's it giving me then? Food poisoning. Oh, food poisoning. Well, that's all right. Frankly, I'm infected. <laughs> I'm going to worry too much. Oh, actually, food poisoning wears off. Oh, that's all right then. Doesn't matter. 
Increased my health slightly. Okay, right, 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 whatever. Dying anyway. But I'll be back. I'll be back. Do you get it? I'll be back. I've got a really nasty feeling, if I'm honest, that I will die because um, I have absolutely no idea where to get antibiotics from. But never mind. So, some more tea. Mm, tea. Jenny loves tea. Uh, We've got some yucca, which I'll be able to make some juice out of when I've got enough of it. And some aloe, which you can make uh, other things. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. What I'll do is I'll drink one of my teas. Let's see if we've got enough aloe to make some medicated bandages. You have to make aloe cream first. No, I need a little bit more. Okay, well, that's all right. I'm sure I'll find some somewhere. Drink the tea, you get your glass jar back, you see, which is brilliant. Glass jar's brilliant. So there's my tea done. So now we have to put some of the water, but not all of the water, onto the fire. And we'll get some of the eggs and we'll make some boiled eggs. There we go. Awesome. So we have a food supply that isn't mouldy. Pretty quick to boil eggs. Don't know why it's quite that quick, but I'm not complaining. So there we go. Ding! And we take the planks off the fire. Ouch. And the fire burns out. And we say, well done, Jenny. You've just survived another night and it's day three. And now you have a fire and you have a bed and a plant and a painting and a little supply of health-related things that aren't antibiotics, which is really annoying. And um, we have some food. So we can't really argue with any of that, can we? Which is brilliant. I'm going to put my water in there and some of my goldenrod tea in there. And I'm going to feel quite pleased with myself. And I'm going to go to bed. I can't hear any zombies. So it's all good. And in fact, before I do anything. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, look, the sign's shining. Where are they getting the power from? You have to ask yourself. But anyway, I'm just going to uh, finish that off. And then I'm going to go to bed. So thank you for joining me. And um, you can come back for the next day when. Um, probably going to die. <laughs>